Welcome, weirdos, to Petra's Playground. I hope you will enjoy. So, sorry for the bad quality. It's my front camera. Uh, it's still better than I had uh, before, but still, it's not good at the ca at the phone. But I just felt like the urge to vlog a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know what I will film, but I felt the urge to do it today. This little munchkin, who's already two years old, can you say two? No, I'm watching television now, mommy. She will have a birthday party for my family, so I thought, why not film it? I might not talk a lot of English, but I might subtitle what I'm saying or do like I did the last time, like show you, like talk about it, then show you clips and subtitle the things I need to subtitle. Maybe this will be a very short vlog, maybe it will, it will be mostly instrumental. I don't know, I was also thinking about using my drone again. So, um... We'll see what I do. We'll see if this even becomes a vlog. I will upload. If you see this, I did. So, what I'm doing right now is blowing out some balloons, putting them in strings. I'm gonna have the party outside on my parents' patio or whatever you call it. And I just felt like vlogging. It was fun to edit my last vlog. And it was fun to vlog. Hi, honey, boo boo. Oh, you're gonna hug your mom. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say my name? My name is is Leona. Leona. Whoa! You ah. good job. Say I. I am, am two, two years. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> years. Years. Say years. Years. Old. Is old. old. Today is Say today. All those names. It's very fun. Very fun because Dabudi means Erica. AA means Levi. Unin means Johnny. And Owa means Luva. Is o means is o. Yeah, she won't come to the party. She will, she didn't have the time. Bing. Yeah, you're watching Bing. So, that's the start of this vlog. We're gonna do some balloon stuff now. Today is gonna be a little something. Okay, it's a storm, which means that I cannot fly the drone, unfortunately. I was so excited I haven't flown it yet, so I have to wait until a better day. This is my song, and I click quality. Okay, all of a sudden it's a lot later than when I actually <laughs> did this vlog. But uh, I'm gonna try to fill in on what the footage coming is about. Uh, so we decorated for Leona's birthday party and then the guests arrived and we had fun and it was a really good party. Leona got some pretty nice gifts and she had so much fun playing with the cousins and everything. The party's closing in. Leona has her blue dress on. I have my blue dress on. Are you excited? Are you excited? Blue-eyed girl. She's my blue-eyed girl. The cold 
is finally gone Well I've been waiting for someone like you to come along I was going down A road so dark and full of demons I lost my ground My heart was stuck in hibernating Stuck in the ice where there's no feeling my brother said we're gonna go to this dock cafe like at the dock um what it's a beautiful cafe called something <laughs> i don't know how to translate to you guys but it's it's a very nice like ca cafe like uh, restaurant so a lot of us actually went there together to eat and that was really cozy too because some of them like my older sister i sister i almost haven't seen since covid started so that was really really nice it was a cozy time we only had a blast and uh, yeah it was just a lot of fun <laughs> just went home I fell asleep it was a great day beautiful day I'm so happy about Leona's birthday I'm so happy to see her happy it was just overall a really great day I'm so thankful for my family I'm so thankful for my daughter and I couldn't be I couldn't ask for anything more in life really I, I couldn't I have everything I need right now I, I'm very proud I try to be at least proud of myself for working as much as I can work Unfortunately, it's not enough. It's, I wish it would have been a little bit more like, so that if I'm sick or Leona is sick or something, that my budget won't crash totally just for like one day of sickness. But at the same time, I'm lucky I have people who can like I can borrow from or help me or whatever. So I'm not complaining about that. It's just that one thing that I w wish was better. And maybe in the future I can work more and don't have to be scared every time I'm sick or alone I'm sick or whatever but as I said I'm just so happy with life right now and content <sighs> even though I am like it's it's hard for me because I have a hard time like really put it out there that I'm happy with life because when I say like I'm happy with life people think oh then what's you don't have any worries, you don't have anything. I'm still going through everything I've always gone through. I just feel like I'm in a better place now with myself. I'm learning to love myself, I'm learning to accept myself and respect myself. I have a family close by, so I'm better at coping with all the things that are hard. With that said, of course there are nights when I cry myself to sleep. Of course I have anxiety attacks uh, often still. and. Of course I am scared for things and sad that things didn't turn out the way they were supposed to turn out in my mind but I am doing so much to just like respect and accept what life is for me and when I think about me actually having my own place I'm a mother I I have all those things I I wish to have I have them and even though it's hard with my like my money which can be an anxiety in itself I don't feel as I did before like that was it was like eating my mind totally it's not the same thing anymore because at least I am working I know I'm doing everything I can to be able to provide for me and my daughter and 
I can't do more than that right now. So I have to try to be content and try to be proud of what I have, even the months that are really, really hard. Like, we have roof, we have food, I can pay my bills and I can get to work. That is all I actually do need. So I am happy. I just am scared of saying that because, to be honest, every time I've told someone, like in the universe, that I am happy finally, now I'm going to cry, that I'm that I feel happy, that I feel like right now I'm in a good place. I talk about every time something huge happens that throws me down to the floor again and I'm so scared of that. Because let's face it, I'm not like <laughs> stable. It's a lot of things happening still and it's a lot of grief I still need to process and everything. So it's not like I'm happy-go-lucky every day of my life. I don't care about anything. It's a lot of thoughts and anxiety and stuff. But I just feel so happy that I can feel happier. I I think feel like I'm talking in circles and that you don't might not even understand what I mean. But it's like, I'm just so scared that something will happen now. So I lose something of the things that I finally have. But I just hope that it's my time now. That it's my time to build myself stronger. To feel that I can love myself. To feel that I... I am where I should be. So I'm really trying to keep that positive feeling. But at the same time, I'm scared. I am also super tired. <laughs> It's a lot of things I miss, like theater and acting, and it feels like I will never ever get a chance again to do that. And that, my friends, are something that really eats on me. But trying to not focus on the bad, trying to focus on the positive, and it is positive where I am right now. Like I have my apartment, and I can eat every month, and <laughs> my family, and all of that. So I'm very thankful for that. And uh, yeah, this is the first long weekend without Leona. It has been rough. I have been actually hanging out with friends for the first time in a very, very long time. So I had a fun time. I always get tired by it though. But it's it was worth it. I needed it this weekend. So I miss her a lot. I will go get her tomorrow. Finally, it's tomorrow I can get her. Um, I love you very much. Thank you for watching this maybe very boring vlog. But I, uh, I enjoy doing some vlogs from time to time. I love you very much. Thank you for following me on my journey from some people has been here since I started when I was very 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 depressed and medicated until this so it has been a journey <laughs> I love you very much